Hi, good evening. This is Arjun here and welcome to my show Wiki Techie. Today, I am very excited because I have a product which is not yet there in the market. Do you know why I'm excited? Because I'll be able to give you all the tips and tricks with this product and all the specs that you would need to know about this before it comes onto the market so you can be sure if you want to go for it or not. So let's get started. Let's talk the difference between a DSLR camera and a mirrorless camera. So to do this comparison, we have the best top end line that anyone can ask for from the uh, DSLR segment from Canon. So thanks to Canon Middle East, I have the 6D Mark II. So are you ready to see it? Let's go. So here's the box and this is the brand new Canon 6D Mark II. 2012 will have a Canon 6D. That is for 6D. 6D Mark II. This is directly compared to the 5D Mark IV. Apparently, because 5D Mark IV is a full frame camera. If you ask me why, this one is the world's lightest full frame DSLR. This is rocking a 26.2 megapixel uh, uh, frame on other all other. At the same time, this is the lightest one. If you take it in hand, you won't even feel like you are carrying around a DSLR because when you travel for landscape photography, you need to walk around a lot. So a camera like 5D Mark IV and all, uh, even though it is a full frame, it is actually a little bit heavy when you have the lens on. But this one is the lightest one from Canon 6D Mark II. So this is the DSLR which we have here to compare. And the other one, which is the mirrorless camera from Canon, is the Canon M6. This is the brand new one. This is yet to come in the market. So yes, I'm very excited to show you today. This is Canon M6, which is a mirrorless camera. Now, let's talk about the difference. Always the DSLRs are a little bit heavy because, you know, Oru mirror arrangement this has been there for a very long time so DSLRs are still there but the new technology which is coming is the mirrorless camera so that is the improvements Sony and other companies are now mirrorless cameras producing Canon M5 is a mirrorless camera M6 so mirrorless means when you take a picture the image is directly reflecting onto the sensor so there is no prism arrangement inside so that is when a uh, picture is taken this is actually the light goes in then it reflects from there to your viewfinder then once you press the shutter the mirror opens and that frame that you see through the viewfinder goes directly into the frame so this is the mechanism which happens in a DSLR so you need a mechanism built in channel you need a bigger body so that is what makes the DSLR a little bit heavier and bigger but this technology is all about when you uh, when you press the shutter the light is directly coming into the frame so there is no nothing inside that's needed so the body is like really thin you can see it over here a picture over here this is as thin as possible we have the point and shoot cameras we have the size of this we have a mirrorless camera and the best part is that you are getting as good as Possible. That is the best quality of pictures that we have mirrorless cameras available. And M6 is undoubtedly the best mirrorless camera that you can go for. So let's do the magic unboxing of Canon 6D Mark II. So this is official and I don't think anyone would have seen in this part of the world this camera and thanks to Canon Middle East for this and we have the camera right here so before we go into other things I'm going directly onto the camera body here which is here oh my god this is unbelievable because I've been personally using a 7D Mark II and I have borrowed a camera to test from my friends you know 5D Mark IV and uh, the other cameras the 60D and other Canon cameras that you have but you will not believe this is a full frame camera this is a full frame camera from Canon DSLR camera and this is as light as it can get so this is 
60 Mark II and let's get in detail with this one. First, we will have a detailed look at the body of this uh, camera, Canon 60 Mark II. So even if you take it on the rain, you know, and if you don't immerse it in water, if you take it in the rain and if you're uh, nearby your pool or something, this is not going to have any problem because this, has, this is weatherproof. And the best part about it is the weight, the weight of this camera, it's very light weighted. So you could feel it once you hold it in your hand. And the third thing which I really liked about this camera is its display. This display, especially when you uh, look at the new uh, trend and the new age uh, cameras that's there in the market. This one is very useful. For example, if you're landscape photography, when you're going for a low angle shot, when you're keeping the camera down there, you can have a look at what you're going to take you know, in the picture. And the best part is that this is touch screen as well. So when we switch it on, you will be able to see uh, what all functions you will be able to use in this. Because in our mobile, in iPhone, in Samsung mobiles, we can use photos and touch the shutter open. That's why we So the ease of use for a normal person has become very light in terms of a DSLR. So that's the best part about 60 Mark II. I like this uh, uh, ergonomics that this has with the screen. And in the box, if you see, there are so many details that they have given. So we'll have a look at it now. In the box, what you would see is, uh, they say it's a 26.2 megapixel uh, sensor that it has, which is good enough. And with uh, the one thing which attracted me is the ISO levels. ISO levels, we have a night photography, the maximum that we go for is 1600 ISO. So, uh, photographers in the So, 1600 ISO maximum poor because if, when we go above that, there'll be a lot of noise that's there, even if it's in a video or if it's uh, shot in a, uh, for a picture. So, they claim that this. ISO level of 40,000 is much better than 5D Mark IV, which is a much expensive DSLR. 5D Mark IV, the uh, ISO levels are much lower. Noise levels are 6D Mark II are very So, uh, 40,000 were point uh, in you won't find much of a noise that you will normally find in a DSLR. So, this one feature will be uh, exciting for those photographers who go for you know Milky Way shoot. This is very useful, 60 Mark II. And uh, this has 45 autofocus points. That means when you are in sports photography, uh, wildlife photography, you are trying to take a picture of something that's moving fast. So, 45 points in the Parayim uh, the autofocus will be much faster because when the subject is moving around, the camera will be able to pick up each point. That is 45 points, the focus will be quicker. So, 45 AF points is much appreciable for 6D Mark II, which is a huge leap from the 6D back in 2012. And the other things which I explained before, this, uh, this has a very angle LCD screen. So this is very useful when you're taking uh, photos in different angles. So you don't have to bend your head or body to look at what you're going to take. So that's one thing. Then uh, the fourth thing which I liked about this is the Wi-Fi and the NFC capability. So Wi-Fi and NFC in the Parameda when you take a picture, when you're on the move, when you're traveling, or a picture at the session, if you want to immediately uh, share it with someone, you know, this has the Wi-Fi capability. So if you have an iPhone or an, any Android phone, easily you can transfer that picture from your uh, camera towards your uh, phones and you can share it easily. So that's uh, the other feature that I would like to emphasize in this particular camera. And other than that, if you ask me, uh, the number one thing will be the light uh, weighted uh, camera, which is the, uh, you know, the light weighted camera in, in terms of the whole DSLR uh, uh, segment that you have. So that is the first point that I would like to emphasize on this particular model. So yes, that is Canon 6D Mark II for you.
But out of all the features that's there in this camera, which we have not running through the whole thing because that's been seen in all the other DSLRs. But the number one thing which I really liked it is this is the world's most light weighted DSLR that is Canon 60 Mark II, which I think you will have to hold it in your hand to feel it. So, this is Canon 60 Mark II for you. Now we'll have a look at what all things are there in the box other than the camera. So once you take the camera off, you will have the paperwork of you know the Canon warranty card and down, otherwise in the manual book and down. Then you have the uh, uh, power cable which will help you to charge the battery. The battery life is uh, really appreciable. Around 1,200 uh, shots will come on a Canon claim chain. When you put a full charge camera, uh, full charge battery, you'll be able to take around 1,200 shots. So then you have the uh, charger here, which you'll use to charge your battery. And nothing much, the battery itself. And the much celebrated uh, strap which you get, you know, which you can swing around. This is the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Uh, sling that you can use to uh, connect to the camera so this is what you have in the box other than that I don't find anything else in here so yeah that's the unboxing of Canon 60 Mark II So now let's unbox the brand new EOS M6 from Canon which is the mirrorless camera. So let's do it right now and I'm gonna open it from here. So when you open you see thanks for choosing Canon get started straight away blah blah blah. Then when you open it again you have the Canon warranty card and some manual book papers around it. Keeping it aside, you have the camera straight over here. And this one is fixed with this lens, with this kit lens of 1545. And you could see how light it is. We'll keep it aside. And before that, we'll just look at what all things are there. I'm gonna put a AV cable under the yellow, white, and red. That is there with it. You know, if you wanna connect it directly, uh, taken out and give it to the TV. Then you have the power cable to charge your uh, battery then you have the strap for it and then you have the battery inside right there inside i'm not able to take it but it's somewhere inside so this is all you have in the box for uh, the canon m6 so now we'll go in detail with the camera which is right here so we'll keep the box aside for a while okay so yeah i will keep it over here yeah and this is Canon M6. I should say, even the build quality, follow the beautiful, and uh, at the same time, it's not breaking your hand anywhere. It's like when you hold it, it's very comfortable. It's very thin and lightweighted. And this is rocking at 24.2 megapixel sensor on it. So DSLR, when you're going for a street photography and all that, when you don't want to carry a bulky DSLR this mirrorless ca camera will come in handy. So this is how it looks and this is uh, how uh, the uh, uh, lens is given that is 1545 mm lens and this is how it looks from the side. I hope you are able to see it. And you have the screen over here where you can, it's a touch screen where you can see what you're gonna do. So basic things are learned you have a new uh, dial over here which you won't find in uh, mostly in all the DSLRs. So this dial is actually to adjust your exposure. So when you're on the daylight, afternoon photo when it's very bright, digitally poi other exposure levels So e camera you have it right there, you know, using your thumb, you can just 
choose whether to go for plus or minus. In that way, you can adjust your exposure levels so you get a clear shot. And talking about the 24.2 uh, megapixel sensor, in the case, we have a high-end pictures. So, using a DSLR, what quality pictures you will be getting, you will be getting almost equal thing. And one thing which uh, I personally felt like, you know, there is no viewfinder in this. So, in DSLR, you see, we have DSLR team use the all when there is no viewfinder, it's little difficult to take all the pictures just by looking at the screen. You know, you get to see what you're gonna take on the screen and you don't have a viewfinder to look through. So, in that way, one disadvantage which will add up to that would be, without the viewfinder, the battery can drain a little bit faster. But what Canon says is that for this camera, uh, the, the battery that's been provided will be good enough for a long time um, uh, life for the camera, battery life. But, if you screen full time on, the battery can drain. But for this, you will have to uh, invest uh, $200 extra or something of that sort for it. So you can have an extra uh, digital viewfinder which can, you can connect to the camera. Then you have a viewfinder. In that way, you can save up the battery. So this is one uh, thing which is there. And if you see the flash over here, it's a little bit, uh, uh, you know, a little bit funny over here. You could see it coming out. So this is how the flash works. The, they developed this technology so in that way they could make the body a little bit smaller. So you have a flat surface and you have the flash coming out like that. So that looks that looks really nice. You know, the one, the, the wall is in the middle of the robot and the face of the camera. Or the design which is really interesting to see in this design. So yes, that is Canon EOS M6 for you. And I'm not explaining or going in detail with it because it has all the other features that you will be expecting out of a DSLR in this mirrorless camera. So this is M6 that you had to watch out for, which is coming out on the market very soon from Canon. So thank you Canon Middle East for giving me this product to review. Bluetooth speakers and headphones and other Bluetooth related gadgets are available in the market. But this is not in the product in the market. So this is where Apple came into play. So Bluetooth is the connection. Right? So when you take a mobile phone or when you take any of your other uh, Bluetooth enabled devices, we have a Bluetooth segment, we have a search for Bluetooth device, we have a then you have to connect, sometimes you need passwords. So by the time you connect to it, you lose interest of, you know, even if it's listening to a music or watching a movie, you're losing that interest because you have a lot of process that's going on to connect to a Bluetooth device. So now, what Apple has done is Apple has come out with this magical product. This has been there in the market for a quite a long time. Pasha, in UAE, we have it available. Yes, it is available here and there. But if, still, if you are going to the Apple store, they say it's out of stock. So this is nothing but the Apple AirPods. So I've been waiting to review this for a very long time. But if you have any hands-on experience, for the past one or two weeks, I've been using this. And I should say that this is really out of the world. The reason being, before uh, even I speak about it, I will show it to you why it is. So now I have my iPhone, okay? And this is the Apple AirPods, the earphones that they have come out with, the wireless ones. So once I switch it on, I just have to open the AirPods and it's done, it's connected. There's nothing else. And it shows the percentage, 100% uh, the earphones are uh, uh, charged and 93% the case is charged. It shows over here and once you take it out and this is for my left ear and the other one is right. It's connected and there's nothing that I need to do for a connection over here. So this is the technology that they brought in. So for this technology what Apple has done is Apple has uh, something called the W1 chip which is used within uh, the uh, airports and 
there is the W1 chip which is there within the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So once you open uh, the box, the technology is once you open the box, it immediately recognizes that there's an iPhone nearby and gets connected. Once it's paired with this iPhone, this is paired forever unless you go inside the settings and then you forget the device. So once you have opened it and once you have connected it, then the next time that you're taking this out of the case, you just have to put it on your ear and that's it you don't have to do anything and the second feature which uh, is of great interest about this product is idippo nammala paattu ketondirikkana allengile aarengile adutha nammala phone la samsaarichondirikkana nannengile and uh, if you want to really cut it off and you want to talk to someone you don't have to pull the phone out of your pocket and uh, press the pause button edengilum oru air pod left or right if you take it out the moment you take it out the uh, function go uh, the function will go on a pause mode apo avada the pause edine shesham once you put it back again it starts playing so that's a really interesting feature with this thing and aadim idu market le vandane shesham ellavarum samsarichondirunnathu idu itrayum cheriya sambhavam alle so when you put it on your ear when you move your head it might fall nalla oru complaint undayunnu pashe it has come out of that uh, problem also because when you are using this it doesn't fall at all even if you are running if you are dancing if you are moving your head like crazy nothing happens this doesn't fall at all that's how uh, apple has designed it and this is one uh, the market of the bluetooth headphones if you might ask but the price factor is one which is uh, really hitting over here 649 dirhams are ipo the market la ipo ningalku adu medikanam ennundengil directly from apple and uh, that price is of a higher uh, note when you ask about uh, you know bluetooth speakers presently in the market and once you put this back in the case it automatically will start charging your left and right airpods so you don't have to do anything once your um, box is uh, in the airpod case is charged when you are on travel you just need to put it back and when you are traveling this is automatically charging so almost around 4 uh, hours or 5 hours 5 hours in all our charge namak edina at the case le thane undavum so once you charge you can listen up to 6 to 8 hours of music with your airpods so this is apple airpod the brand new bluetooth technology that is come out with w1 chip from apple I hope you enjoyed the Canon 60 Mark II review and the EOS M6 which is coming out in the market very soon and the Apple AirPods that you all been waiting for for the review and I'll see you next week again with a lot of new gadgets and always you can email me to the email id which you see down there and yes I'll see you next week this is Arjun signing off from Wiki Techie